Hello, I am Shivam, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Hyderabad, India. Today, I'm going to show you how to give internet access to an AWS Lambda function that's connected to an Amazon Virtual Private Cloud. Let's get started. Lambda functions, by default, run in a secure Amazon VPC with access to AWS services and the internet. Lambda service owns this Amazon VPC and it isn't connected to a customer managed VPC. Lambda functions that are associated with your Amazon VPC can access the internet only when you configure your Amazon VPC to provide access. To provide internet access to your function, you must associate the function to a private subnet. Doing this requires a network address translation on NAT and also requires routing the outbound traffic to a NAT gateway in a public subnet. Let's look at two possible ways to do this. Give internet access to a Lambda function that's already associated with an Amazon VPC. Create a new Amazon VPC with internet access and then associate it with a Lambda function. Note, to associate a Lambda function to your Amazon VPC, you must add the AWS Lambda VPC access execution role, manage policy to your Lambda's execution role. To get started, first login to your AWS account. For this demonstration, I've already created a Lambda function that's associated with an existing VPC in a private subnet and default security group that allows outbound traffic. This means that if I try to run this function right now, it will make a request to public endpoint and then return no internet because NAT gateway is not configured yet. Now, let's open the Amazon VPC console. Filter the VPCs from the top left section and then choose subnets. Copy the name of at least two public subnets in different availability zones that are present in these VPCs. Next, choose NAT gateways from the left panel and then choose create NAT gateway. Enter the name that you want to use and then select a the public subnet from the dropdown where you want to create the NAT gateway. The connectivity type must be public. Select an elastic IP address from the dropdown list. If no free elastic IP address is present in this region, then you must allocate an elastic IP address. Now, scroll down and choose Create NAT Gateways. Repeat the same step for the other public subnet for high availability. For this demonstration, I'll do this for only one subnet. When you are done, let's associate this NAT gateway to the private subnet associated with the Lambda function. To do this, go to the subnets and select the private subnet. From the bottom panel, select route table and then choose the route table. The route table associated with the private subnet appears. Again, from the bottom panel, choose routes and then edit the routes. Choose Add Route. For destination, enter 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0. For target, choose the NAT gateway from the drop-down list and select the NAT gateway. Repeat the same for the other subnet if the route table association is different. Let's test the Lambda function again. Now, we can see that the Lambda function can connect to the public subnet through the internet and return the connected response. Go to the VPC console and choose create VPC. Select VPC and more. Enter the VPC name that you want to use and other information. For this demonstration, let's use the default values. Then select the number of availability zones, number of public subnets and the number of private subnets. Note. It is a best practice to have at least two public private subnets in different availability zones for high availability of Lambda functions. Now, select the number of NAT gateways that you want to create. For high availability, select one per AZ. We don't want to create a VPC endpoint right now. So let's select none. Finally, choose create VPCs. Note, it takes around one minute to create all the resources in the backend. So let's wait for that to complete 
and then proceed after it's done. Now go to the Lambda console and select the Lambda function. Choose configuration, select VPC and then choose the edit button. Choose the newly created VPC. Then select the private subnet. Finally, select the default security group. Wait for the function to be updated. After configuring the NAT gateway in your Amazon VPC correctly, you can now connect to the internet successfully from your Lambda function. And now you know how to give internet access to a Lambda function that's connected to an Amazon VPC. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.